So we're looking at using opposite side counters. That means she's rolling with my punch and loading. Okay, so if I'm throwing the body shot, she's turning this way to take the blow off and she's coming back with the uppercut, hook, cross. Over here, she's turning with the shot, uppercut, cross, hook. Up top, she's gonna eat my right hand, come back, two, three, two. She's gonna eat my hook, three, two, three, okay? And I'm gonna put numbers in front of that for her. So I'll say one, two, three, boom, boom, boom. And when I go to hit her, she knows it's the opposite side. I'm gonna make her roll. I'll have her quarter turning, moving her feet. One, one, two, boom. She's gonna catch, she's gonna fire right back. You guys see that right there? Everybody remember that? Let's start right there, one, two. Okay, I'm seeing a lot of you guys throwing those straight punches a little bit short. Make sure you're getting those arms out there, turn them out. Okay, when I throw this uh, right hand, I'm gonna exchange my shoulders. Look, my back shoulder's in the front, front shoulder's in the back, and my nose is never gonna pass over my knee. If that happens, I can get pulled off my axis. So make sure when you throw that right hand, your nose is always gonna be behind your knee back here, and I'm exchanging my shoulders. I want that full length. I don't wanna be here, I wanna turn it. I just gained about three inches, okay? That's the difference between landing the punch and missing, is doing this or doing that. They're gonna be at the end of your punch, trying not to get hit, so you have to turn it over to make contact. You guys understand me? Okay, and when you're throwing that hook, I want you to throw it with your thumb up like this. I don't want you throwing the hook right here, you can break your thumb, okay? So you wanna make sure you're up here and that hook is at face level up here. I don't wanna throw it down here, I'll get countered right over the top. You understand? Look, y'all, uh, you guys gotta make sure when these punches are coming, you're rotating with the punch. That's gonna allow you to do what? Load up for your counter, but load up to do so. I'm loading up when I'm catching that here. The hook comes, I'm turning, I'm loading my body. Remember we just talked about where our weight belongs? Look, I'm catching and I'm shifting my weight here so I can come back and bring it back to that back foot. So I'm here, it's boom, bam, boom, bam. Make sure you're turning your body, boom, bam, boom, bam. You guys gotta rotate, 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 rotate. That way you're loaded up, loaded up, bah, loaded up, bah, you guys see it? Question. Is there a reason you do opposite side opposite side? Same side power, there's no power there. It's a pot shot. When I'm turning here, I'm all the way loaded up, bomb to throw a power shot. So one is not wrong, the other's not wrong, but you gotta have different tricks for different scenarios, okay? Come over here. When I'm doing the same side counter throw, up, throw the body shot, throw the body shot. This is more of a pot shot versus here going here and I'm turning and I'm bow. That's a shot that could potentially knock her down. So you have to be able to mix it up. Okay, again, I wanna be able to give various looks. If I come in and I'm doing the same thing the whole fight, my opponent's job is to do what? Come in there and figure out what I came to do and start taking it away. So the more I can show through time, through each round, the more confusion that's gonna cause him, it's gonna give him more to think about, and if I catch him thinking, bow. Okay, so you gotta be able to use different tools to give different looks, does that make sense? And set different traps, does that make sense? Now look, we're gonna get a little bit uh, more complicated with it. So I'm gonna say same or opposite. So I'm gonna give her plenty of time to hear what I want. One, two, three, same. So she catches that, she comes back, three, two, three, because she heard same, which means it's the same side, counter, okay? Same. Opposite, no, opposite. Hear it? Same. My fault, same. Opposite. Same. Opposite, opposite, same, same, nope, same, hear it, same, opposite, same, opposite, opposite, same, you guys see it, okay, start right there and then we'll put combos in front, remember the rule is listen, look, punch. That means she needs to listen, look before she ever gets to punching, okay? So y'all are trying to clump it all together, so watch this. Same. I gave her time to digest that. Same. Opposite. Opposite. Same. See how I'm gonna say it? Let her think about it and then go. Don't try and jumble it all together. We're not there yet. Same. Opposite, same, opposite, roll. See, I'm giving her all that time to think before I make her make a move, okay? We're trying to build the muscle memory. Later on, we can pick up the speed on two, one, two. 
Nice, Denise. That one was good. One, one, two, opposite. She's going to catch that shot, come right back. One, two, three, opposite. She sees me going to the body. She rotates. Good. I make her move. Good. Jab. One, two. One, two, same. Good. One, two, three, opposite. Boom, boom, boom. Uh, boom, boom, pow. Good. One, one, two, same. Body shot. Uh, 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 roll. You guys see what we're doing? Notice the amount of time I'm giving her to digest the information before I make her regurgitate it back. I need her to hear it, look at the pads, and then do it. I don't want you guys to be calling it while you're holding. They need time to think about it, okay? Because we're still learning how to read. You got me? Let's do it. One, two. Come on, make this shit look good, baby. Y'all are fucking awesome. We're doing good tonight. Let's get some rounds moving around, okay? That was really good. Everybody started picking that up. And that's not easy, is it? That one's tough. Okay, that one's real tough, but it's going to make you smarter. You guys got to be able to kind of think under duress. That's what fighting is, right? You got to think under duress until you don't have to think no more. And then you should be able to just act and react. You get what I mean? You can cut the thinking out and just act and react when you get good enough. But for now, we got to think under stress and duress. Later on, you won't have to think so much. You guys got me? Get your shit on. Let's get going. Come on. I'm waiting on y'all. I'm waiting on y'all. All you guys are doing a good job, but you're throwing punches. Your head does not leave the center line. You guys are just doing this. You got to move your head when you punch. It doesn't matter what punch you're throwing. Your head has to move. You guys are throwing combinations and your head's just sitting on the line. Let's go. Think about moving our head while we punch. Get back to work. Grab somebody. Let's go. Come on. Move that head while you punch. Let's go. Right to work. Grab somebody. Let's go. Two minutes. Go. Move your head. Move your head. Move your head around when you punch. That's the intensity I'm looking for every session. It might have been a smaller group tonight, man, but the intensity was way up at the end. That's what it takes, guys. That's what we got to bring to the table every night. Some of us are boxing now November 3rd. We got a couple of you guys fighting. Uh, whether you're fighting or not, you have to be here for your classmates to help them prepare, okay? They need you. We need you. Even if you're not there yet to work, you're competing, I need you in the room pushing your training partners. You guys understand? It takes all of us. It takes a village. Okay? You guys got me? Great class tonight. On two, one, two. Hey. There you go, sir. That was awesome, bro. We finished fire, huh? Sweet.